What's going on, YouTube? Um, so you're going to be watching a live screen in the background. Well, not live, but a pre-recorded screen. Um, so just focus on me as much as you can. Have fun watching whatever the hell we're doing in the back. And uh, today we're going to be talking about music. So um, pretty simple. We're going to be talking about, uh, I don't know, influence of music, the... I think Ethan wants to talk about something about conspiracy of music, which here is, I've, I've heard about some of this. He talked to me about it before, so I was like, fuck it, let's make it a podcast. And I'm going to actually talk, I'll try to talk about a little bit of subjects here today as well. And obviously we are joined with Ethan and Alex again. Um, I believe my cousin Hunter is going to be joining, but he's eating right now, so he should be joining up sometime. But let's get on them. Let's get on with it. Sorry. All right. Intro is done. Let's fucking talk about it. We're okay. not gonna. We're not gonna sit here and go through the fucking CNN and Fox and all this bullshit. But I also want to talk about some few things before we get started. Okay. So I was watching another podcast, and you know, see how how they do their stuff. Wow, this stuff is really laggy. Oh. And uh, anyway, let's uh, let's skip this one. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I got a a good subject to talk about. So I seen um Ninja's post how he says he shouldn't be teaching your um teaching your kids to like racism, like what's right and wrong. You guys agree with that? Like he he said, uh, I don't know exactly how he worded it, but he said how it's not his job to teach your kids, you know, about racism. I mean, to an extent, I agree with that, but like, it's it's not just parents who influence that; it's also figures that people look up to. For well, example, and- ninja. <laughs> well, and I also think that part of it, it has to do with your friends. Yeah, that too. See, I can I can agree and disagree at the same time as well because, like, yeah. I, I don't understand how you can't. You got to be an influencer if people's watching you. You got to uh, you got to be an influencer. Yeah, you have to. You have to be careful with what you say or how you say it and whatnot. <laughs> So it's like at the same time it's just it's just weird to me. Which again, I can agree, but then disagree. Yeah. Like I said, I, I agree and disagree with that statement. And the reason I wanted to bring that up it that is gonna be touching base a little bit with today. Um But yeah, like I don't know. I just feel like that's the thing though like it depends i guess did he did someone like come in and talk about it because like that that wouldn't be allowed on my stream i'm not gonna sit there and talk about it i I don't even think i would talk about it in in a podcast as like religion you guys will never see that on my podcast unless it unless i become like this super millionaire i'm gonna become an asshole and then maybe i'll talk about it because then i don't give a fuck but right now, <laughs> but right now, like I, I'm not gonna talk about it. And I honestly, let's be let's be real though. I'm probably not even gonna talk about it, even if I was rich, because that's just that's for me to know and you to dig for it, I guess. Yeah. Like I'll tell you what what I am. I'm an ominous, but like I'm not gonna sit there and have a whole ass discussion on something. And that, I feel like that's something with racism. I don't know why he brought it up. But I was just, I'm assuming maybe it was in his chat somewhere. But I don't know. But like him being I mean, the figure he is, he's got to be an influence. I mean, who likes Ninja anyway? <laughs> I I really don't. Um, but like the media bashing him for that, I I can't get behind that. Yeah, like, I don't I don't agree with that. Like they shouldn't bash him. But now I don't agree. Like, how do I word this? I like the character he is becoming, though. I can see like him, him, him growing in, in a sense that he is learning a lot from his mistakes or whatever. 
Do I right. agree with his ideas, though? Not so much. Like, uh, the one tweet he had on there about how can a kicker miss the field goal? That's your job. All right, well, it's like, how do you miss your shots on Fortnite? It's your job. Like, yeah. I, I just... There comes to how does a college team? How does a college team lose a tournament? It's their job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, somebody's like, got to win. Like, like that, I can't get behind. But like, there is sometimes he is actually kind of funny. But other than that, I just I don't know, I'm not a big. I'm not a big fan. I could, I could never watch him. Let's put it that way. I could watch him in someone else's stream. How about that? I just. I just don't like how he treats people he streams with. Like, I don't know. He just thinks that everyone has to listen to what he says. That's fair. Yeah, and I think I think he blew up on Fortnite, but, like, him getting into other games, I'm liking because he's not the best. And now even in Fortnite, he's not the best. Like, there's some people out there that would literally whoop his ass. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So it's like... I'm kind of liking. I'm kind of liking. He's not being so hot-headed. He's not hot-headed as as he used to be. But again, staying on topic, he's got to be an influence. He's got to stay influential to who he's. Fuck. Again, I'm not sitting there saying he needs to say something on stream about it, but you know, he he needs to sit there and, and at least be a little bit influential on the whole subject. But again, someone being racist in chat, it's, I don't know, it's, it's his and his mod's, you know, job to, to kick that out of chat. Yeah. Like either yeah. either ban him or put him in a timeout or some shit. Like, I, if they're going to be talking about racist shit in, in chat, you're out. <laughs> Especially on my chat. I don't put up with it. I will ban, I will, I will literally stop the stream just to, to ban somebody if, Again, I'm not very big, obviously, but I would still do it. I don't give a fuck. But that kind of touches base on today's subject about music and how it's uh, how it can be influential, both good and bad. Um, oh. And you said there's some controversial. What what would you tell me, uh, Ethan? There's like some music can be controversial. I mean, obviously, look at Eminem. Uh, yeah, controversial music, uh, mainly referring to like metal music. Yeah, you can touch base on the metal. I'll touch base on some of the rap that's controversial. Yes, yeah. y'all know how I am with that. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I had, I had, um, I had Alex on um, like good influential music, and I'm gonna blindly research about some of the history of music. Cause like I actually that is something I never actually looked into is a lot of like history of of music, and I know that was probably taught in some of our fucking music classes with Mr. Salisbury because that motherfucker I, I don't know man dude could no nah, he he wouldn't teach anything because once someone gets him talking about something he doesn't shut up about it <laughs> yeah but that guy is so old like old school like that motherfucker <laughs> probably had a record a. a accordion or some shit out of fucking wood yeah like but yeah let's start let's start with some controversial music and i actually want to hear about the, some of this metal because I, I i don't know much about like controversial music at all i'll be honest okay all right um lay it on us dude <laughs> Are you referring to like System of a Down type of controversial music? Uh, yes and no, but there's there's other things or too. There was the other one, conspiracy music as well. You said something about conspiracy. That's the word I was looking for. Unless it was a mistype. No, it was. Um. Well, I mean, I'll just start from the beginning. I mean, let's just kind of throw in some metal history while we're at it, too. Um, back in the 1969, we had the greatest metal band to ever exist. You know you know who it is. The I'm Beatles? Gonna... The, Be what? <laughs> the Beatles? <laughs> oh, man. Hell to the fucking naw. Hell to the fucking naw. The Beatles? <laughs> No, no, hey. that's that's one of the greatest rock groups to ever. Live. 
I we, couldn't resist. Much respect to them. We could definitely touch on them in this fucking podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. But go on. Yeah, I don't like I don't like listening to Beatles, but I'll give them respect. They were one of the greatest. And I can respect okay. Ethan's Ethan's point of view on that. That's, that's of course fair. I love I love my John Lennon, but let's go on. <laughs> 1969, we get the release of a great fucking album called uh, Black Sabbath by yours truly, Black Sabbath. <laughs> by yours uh, truly. The first thing the media started doing with their music and and just pr- radical Christian. Groups is they started picking apart the music and saying it was essentially devil worshiping music. Now this 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 has been going on for even from the beginning. That's been a controversial topic, just in metal in general. Like, oh, music is you know devil worshiping music, but uh, I don't even I don't even know what else to say about. It. So they pretty well flipped the script on them. Yeah. It's... And then like and then like you get these band people, like they'll come out and say stuff. Like Black Sabbath came out and said, uh, we don't worship Satan, we worship God. <laughs> like yeah, they're right. Christian. I wouldn't say they're Christian because you know they don't follow their his teachings very well. <laughs> but... <laughs> but they are in no way saying that they are the worship him. Yeah, and, and that's and you have... that, that's the horrible thing about when metal came out. I do remember all this. Like when metal came out, everyone was like, "Oh, well, you're a fucking, you're a Satan's, Satan's minion." Yeah, and, shit. and like, yeah, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not. But if I want to be, there are bands out there, there, are metal bands out there who worship the devil. Like, to name a few, uh, Behemoth is one of them. Uh. God, I mean, some of them. But now, then there's... I'm gonna touch on a subject as well. Uh, I'm on the whole bad influence of music. Now, I love metal, so don't don't twist. Here's for the general public. Everyone knows my opinion on metal music. I love metal music, so don't twist this opinion. Uh, when me and Alex was watching, um, what the hell was that kid murderer show? What the fuck was that called? Where the kids would like grow up or like murder. I, you remember, I remember it was on Netflix. I, yeah, I don't remember. It was like child murderers. Or I don't know. Yeah, child murderers. A lot of them. Now, a lot of them wasn't over music, but there was a select few in there. Like one, I I remember this one very vividly because it 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 fucked with me a little bit. Um. He, they listened to Slayer. It was a it was a group of three like boys, and they sacrificed this woman, this other teenager. They went out drinking or whatever, and then they literally sacrificed her over a fucking like pentagram and shit because of what one of their songs was based off of. Well, now man. again, I'm just saying what the bad influence is to like all music. I'll I'll, I'll say it to all music. Like I'm not I'm not gonna be biased on one genre at all, right? Yeah. But like I can see where that could be a big, like, downfall to some of the metal metal bands and songs that yeah. people do put out. Yeah, people misinterpret their lyrics. Like just because well, someone sings about it doesn't mean they always mean it. Yeah, they're just singing about it. It pertains to like the album story. Or- well. Hold on. Um, that brings what? up a controversial uh, court case against Judas Priest. Uh, yeah. One of their song, they thought if you played it backwards, it told them to kill themselves. And they wrote it in a suicide note. You yeah, know, subliminal picked... messaging or some shit they call that. Yeah. I remember yeah. hearing about that with Judas Priest. I was like, yeah, shut um, the fuck up, man. Did you ever hear his music? Like... <laughs> What the yeah. fuck? It was funny because, like, even the judge knew, like, okay, this is just ridiculous. Why are we even? But go on, Alex. What was you uh, looking up or whatever? Uh, well, I what I was looking up was when Columbine happened and Marilyn Manson got 
Oh yeah. Got the blame for it. I was looking up like what he had released in a statement. And the only reason I thought of him is because he fought back and was like, look, you can't be blaming me for what these kids did. Yeah. yeah. And where, where does he, oh, right here. Responsible journalists have reported with less publicity that Harold and Klebold were not Marilyn Manson fans, that they even disliked my music. Even if they were fans, that gives them no excuse, nor does it mean that music is to blame. Did we look for James Huberty's inspiration when he gunned down people at McDonald's? What did Timothy McVeigh like to watch? What about David Corris, Jim Jones? Do you think entertainment inspired Kip Kinkle, or should we blame the fact that his father bought him the guns he used in Springfield, Oregon murders? What inspires Bill Clinton to blow people up in Kosovo? Was it something that Monica Lewinsky said to him? Oh my God. Now, now, let's be honest, though. Let's not be biased here. I love Marilyn Manson as well, but as an entertainer, he's got to say shit like that. Because, in to, to my opinion, entertainment will always have influence on something or someone. Well, and he, he says, he does say here, America loves to find an icon to hang its guilt on, but admittedly, I have assumed the role of Antichrist. I am the 90s voice of individuality, and people tend to associate anyone who looks and behaves differently with illegal or immoral activity. I mean, he's right. Look at the uh, look at the entertainment division when you look at uh, or watch a movie uh, with a, a cat show that we watched. It I thought was about cats. Alex, what was that show? Movie. Don't fuck with cats. Don't fuck with cats. Literally, he that based that great. entire fucking. It was a true story, and he based it all off of one fucking movie. So you can't tell me like entertainment, music, movies, anything like that cannot like influence anybody it it influences someone along the lines like somewhere it influences somebody whether it's good or bad but it could be a good influence Uh, wheels on a bus man everyone anytime that fucking song comes on everyone's all happy and chippery and shit because it was a childhood song for most of us i know that's a kid song but (laughs) we got we got we got we got to touch base on everything because like yeah you, you got to admit, though, like, when you were a kid and you heard that song, shit, you were happy as fuck. I mean, I was. I barely li- really listened to it, let's be honest. But... But let's touch base more on uh, all this metal controversy. Let's see. What what other? Okay. Um. I've, t- I've talked about this one before, but the Cannibal Corpse album where the uh, lead singer shot himself and the guy took a picture of it. Oh, made it an album cover. It's fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. Yep. Like, shot himself dead or, like, just shot himself? No, he shot himself dead. Like, holy shit. Okay, uh, that's uh, fucked. Okay. That's more fucked up. Yeah, I know, but, uh, so what happened was. The band Mayhem, it was their lead singer and their guitar player, I I think. Yeah, it, it was the lead singer who kept telling the guitar player. Because, okay, so the guitar player, he was obsessed with death and shit like that. He was, like, really into that stuff. And it got to the point where, like, practically was his life was just uh, looking about death, like, looking at things, stuff like that. So eventually the lead singer kept telling him, hey, why don't you just kill yourself and all that stuff? So he just kept uh-huh. telling him and telling him. And then one day he just did he, it. He did it. And instead of the guy calling the cops, he, he left and came back, found his buddy. Uh, instead of calling the cops, he went out, bought a Rolex camera and took a picture of him. Nice. And then later nice. made it an album cover. You can't. You can't. You can listen to the album, but you, it's a different cover, obviously, because they can't have that. But Jesus Christ! Yeah, so you can look it up. It's it's literally you literally see like brains splattered on a wall and a shotgun wow. in the guy's hand and stuff. That's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that's completely fucked up. <laughs> now eventually the lead right. singer. Yeah, eventually the lead singer got 
He died too. I don't remember what he died from though. <clears throat> um What some other one? I don't know, those are like prominent ones at least. Um Well, I mean this this is a different genre, but um another controversial music is uh punk music. Yeah, that's cuz it's uh, very like anarchist. Like it's yeah. like fuck the government and conformity and all that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean Ooh. Uh God, I don't even know. Oh, Pantera got a lot of flack for their oh music. Oh my god, yeah, Pantera. Oh my lord. It was hilarious, though, because uh, the lead singer told the bunch of Christians were telling him that he was a devil worshiper and all that, and he was like, oh yeah, Satan's got me by the balls. I freaking, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of the don't care kind. Oh yeah. They produce some good ass music too. Some pretty damn good ass music. Yeah. I still listen to them sometimes. I listen to them a lot. <laughs> uh. I mean, we all, all right. we all know the Beatles. So we can touch on them last. Yeah. Well, um, another band that I I haven't read into it, but I'm sure they got flack for it. Cannibal Corpse, their fucking music for some of their like some of their song titles and shit. It's they're really well, fucking. And wasn't the guitarist? Didn't they find dead bodies in his basement? Yeah, yeah, they found. Uh, uh, I was gonna say, thought, was it dead bodies or was it bones? I thought it was bones. It bones. might have just been bones, but I mean, it's is bones. that not technically a dead body? Kind of. I mean, a lot of lines it is, but like, yeah. how do you know, like, what kind of bones? I mean, was it all human bones? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it was. I think they brought in an anthropologist. Was it real bone? Like, was it all real bones too? Or oh yeah, it was real. Oh, He's in jail God. for it. <laughs> But what oh. if you never murdered anyone? That's the thing. Like, hey, so speaking of Cannibal Corpse, they're releasing a new album. Oh, nice. So yeah, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But like, how can you how can you go to jail over something like that? Was it like did he well, actually mur like did he come out like it's just bones? On. If you let me look it up. <laughs> well, you're taking forever. So my question is like, how can you go to jail over something like that? Because like. I Maybe mean, he pleaded guilty to it. Maybe I he, think he, he did. I, uh, no, 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 How many bones was there? Like, oh my god. Um, so Probably a lot. Is, this is what this says so far. More than 80 firearms and three skulls found in Cannibal Corpse guitarist's home. So that was the headline for one of them. So you're looking at 214 bo uh, bones per body, right? 214 or something like that? 220? Hold on, I'm... That's a lot of bones if there's three skulls there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just fucked up. I, I don't even know why I'm laughing at that. Like, why, why would you keep the bones? This is weird to me. Do you have a big dog? I mean, okay. I would love to have a human skull, but I'd like to get it from someplace like I can legally Use your buy own. one. Use your own. Use my own. It's probably all deformed and shit. Yeah, Mine, mine's probably right. deformed. I'm gonna be honest. Mine's probably actually deformed for real. Okay, that's weird. Oh yeah, but um, Cannibal Corpse. Uh, they're they're one album. They have some pretty controversial uh song titles for. You got a few off the top of your head you can remember. Or... Oh yeah, there's one in particular. <laughs> it's called a uh, necropedophile. Oh god, not again! I what mean, fuck. Do I even need to say? Like, just look up the lyrics for. Uh, well, 
I probably wouldn't display them on on uh, the stream, but uh, <laughs> you can look them up and just see for yourself how bad they are. All right, let me look them up real quick. Yeah, and then there's like, I come blood. That's another one. Oh, I do that on a daily, so I don't know what the hell. <laughs> what was it called? Necro. Necro pedophile. You should be able to guess what it's about. <laughs> it's okay. So it's, it says that he didn't go to jail because of the skulls. He went to jail because of all the illegal guns he had, and ah. he assaulted a police officer. <laughs> what happened to all them guns? Yeah, I would assault one too. The list of weapons found included 50 shotguns, 10 semi-automatic rifles, including a couple variants of AK-47s, two Uzi-style rifles, and 20 handguns. Other materials found were a number of locked safes, two flamethrowers, thousands of rounds of ammunition, several other weapons with their parts and three skulls. One of the That's weapons, so much! <laughs> one of the weapons was a sawed-off shotgun, which is completely illegal. Holy shit! You listen to these guys? You listen yeah. to these? On a, on a daily, yeah. I don't know if well, I'm not good. Weird. Yeah, that's a little... Okay, I'm all for shock, like, shock culture music, but that, even that's a little extreme for me. Yeah, reading this fucking thing is ridiculous. Yeah, well, okay, well, here, here's the other thing. They have a new lead singer now, if that helps. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this line because this like I'm not gonna show, I am not displaying this. You're right. I'm good good call on that. <laughs> I was gonna say you probably shouldn't display intercourse it. with infants. I could never no nope, I could never listen to something like that. I love music. Don't get me wrong, but I just the lyrics is what gets me. See, I always see to me I I well okay it. <sighs> It kind of, the the album the song does pertain to the album which talks of it's a uh, I can't remember what it's called mm. it's like Tomb of the Defiled I think or something like that so like I'm not gonna lie some of the shit in the in this in this lyrics is kind of funny I ain't gonna lie right yeah yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but like then you get to that yeah, like yeah. intercourse with infants Ian uh... <laughs> um. Yeah, that's probably the worst song they have, honestly. Just that one. <laughs> oh my but... god, that is fucked up. I read the entire thing, I'm not gonna lie. That's fucked up. A little bit. A <laughs> little bit. And then there's me and Megan just listening to it. Okay, so... Let's go to the bad influence of that song. Like, uh, uh, the whole song, even, yeah. I don't have to go any further than, y'all yeah, look, just look it up. I am not displaying them lyrics on this stream. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I feel violated just reading it. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. Now I'm going to have to just listen to the song later and see, like, how, how he actually. Well, uh, you, he, he's, uh, it's a, it's like screamo, or not screamo, it's, it's like, a uh, growling music, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you, so you won't understand what he's saying at all, but. So it's like mumble rap, just mumble metal. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, it's not, it's not really mumble, it's just like, if you, if you look up the lyrics, you can kind of hear him saying the stuff, so it's, it's not like. It's like a lot of metal music. That was some fucked up shit. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, Alex, you got any some good influence after reading that? Um Like what, for, what you... like like for them specifically? No, just the uh, good influence. In general. Yeah. Like, um, what would you, what would you consider? Well, I know we don't I know we don't really like country music here, but I feel like most of Kenny Chesney's stuff is like pretty like good influential. The only thing I can think of is he talks about alcohol he does talk about alcohol a lot. 
but I feel like that's as far as the bad goes. Like, I know he has a couple mm -hmm. songs where he talks about smoking weed, but on the grand it, scale of things, I don't think his songs are necessarily bad. I'm just going to say, I don't think smoking weed's a horrible thing, so, like... Who are we talking about? Oh. Who are we talking about? Kenny, Kenny Chesney. Chesney. Oh. So, I, I could I could almost agree that, like, most of his stuff could be... If you got a song in particular, or no? Um, not really. Basically, any of them are... Isn't there a song, Beer in Mexico? Yeah. Might as well just keep this tab open over here. Yeah, um... Trying to think of... What's a good metal band that you would consider influential? Quit. I don't know. And, and by influential, Just, I mean like general public, not psychos or pedophiles and stuff like that. Oh, um, System of a Down. Great example. Yeah, I would say System is pretty good. You know, they talk about shit that no one wants to talk about, so... I can get behind that. I feel like Disturbed is too, a little bit. Yeah. Because, I mean, they got... They remade the song Sound of Silence. I mean, come on. Can't tell me that's a bad song. But I like the fact that they... they um. The only thing I can think of for Disturbed is Down With The Sickness when he goes on that rampage in the middle and it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, that's a little hardcore, even for Disturbed. Well, I mean, you could also talk about their... almost the entire album of... Asylum. The whole music video. Like we got we gotta touch on music videos and shit too yet. Oh uh, well I already got well that that's, that's for pop. I, I, mean, didn't I, already even, got. I didn't even think about music videos. Well yeah, I mean the the um now I don't know a lot because I didn't look at a lot, but like there is some people out there that that's all they want to listen to is music videos. But like Asylum? Dude's trapped in a, a straitjacket the entire... Dying over and over. Making it look like it's okay to be in a psych ward or some shit. Which, uh, okay. It's not a bad thing to be in a psych ward, but... Well, they made it look like... How do I word it? They made it look like... It's obviously horrible to be in there, but like they made it look like... People get tortured all the time. Okay, I... Which, in a way, I mean, you know, you look at some of these older psych wars, yeah, let's, let's be honest. Like, fucking trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, <clears throat> let's just say that. You get one sheet of toilet paper, and that's it. However, that's kind of, that's kind of on them, though. That's kind of on the people that were there. Right. People would try to make ropes out of them, so they just limit them to like one sheet. But then, like, if you piss the guard off, they would do like hot, hot water only showers, and it was like scolding hot water or freezing. Just like, I don't know. You can't always say like what disturbed said was like false. Cause there was psych wards out there that did not care oh, about yeah. their mental health at all. Well, and okay, and on that, a lot of them still don't. A lot of them still, they don't, they mask your your symptoms. They don't, you're pretty well just a paycheck to them. Yeah, here's a pill. That's all it is. Here's a pill. Well, well not even that, because like pills, uh, antidepressants did a lot for me, like, whereas therapy didn't, but they didn't even offer, they don't offer therapy, they don't. Well, that's the thing, like that, that worked for you, but how many people does don't work for well I'm, I'm not saying that it works for everyone i'm just saying you can't and, say well here's a pill because that does work for some people yeah it does and then you got to think of like okay let, let's i'm going to incorporate that incorporate that with what we're talking about it might be influential to us but it might not be influential to someone else just like what we think is good they could think completely opposite like, yeah. have another beer in Mexico. Maybe someone had a bad, bad experience in Mexico. I don't know. But we got to think of that, too. Because, like, so that's why it's so hard to, like, music can go so many different ways. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, even if, it, if it's a good song, 
someone else might have a way different opinion on it. Yeah, which that's the beauty of music. Music is very powerful. Yeah, it is. I think it's more powerful than fucking movies. Because you, you, there's not one day that you can't listen to some sort of music. Well, and music is way more portable. Well, I guess maybe not so much in today's age because of cell phones and stuff. But even so, music is still more portable than movies are. It doesn't take, it, it takes less battery for your phone. It takes up less internet for your phone than a movie does. So... So, huh. Hey, I found another controversial uh, band. Go on. Okay. They were called the Murder Junkies. The Murder Junkies. This oh man God. named Gigi Allen. He I thought was you were going to say Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> no, Gigi Allen. He was very notorious. <laughs> Uh, so at like all of his shows, he would strip naked on stage, which, you know, a lot of bands have done that. Red Hot Chili Peppers have done that. And, uh, can't think of anyone else who has, but I would strip naked. Fuck it. And, but, but, but what makes it worse is he would defecate on stage. Oh, people are freaks. And, and he would fling it into the audience. (laughs) Okay, now hold on. Now, I just read somewhere that Marilyn Manson did that, too. And, like, I had never heard that claim before for him. Nah, I haven't heard that either. It is, yeah. People can make claims of all the time, but, like, <laughs> don't be in the front row. Um, That's fucked Yeah, <laughs> he would also fight with a lot of, mem- uh, like, oh. uh, people in the audience. Might have had a drug issue. And I, I, I think, think, and I think it's the other issue why metal music has such a bad rap is because of some of their usage of drugs. Well, yeah. okay, okay, and I've been getting into fights all day with people about that because I guess Marilyn Manson's a couple of his exes came out and said that he um he was abusing them when they were with him, and like people were blaming. Like they were, they were blaming the the girls, which first of all is a big no no. But second of all, they were like, "Well, just look at him. You can tell that he abuses people." And I'm like, I highly doubt that it was his looks that made him abuse people. It was probably his drug use that made him do that. Like, and people he abused are abused my ears. He abused my ears. And I, I even said, I said, I have no doubt that he's capable of that. Like, I love the man. I love what he's done. But like, I, I does it doesn't. I don't doubt that he abused women. Like, not because of how he looked though, because I know his history of drug use. So. Oh, and uh, another thing. Well, look at Bill Cosby. <laughs> not, you look at him. You look at him. He don't look like he's gonna hurt a fucking fly. Exactly. And that's what other people were trying to get across is, okay, Ted Bundy was a freaking gorgeous man for that those days, and guess what? He still did what he did. Hmm. It was just the point that your looks have nothing to do with your personality. Oh, and uh, Gigi Allen also planned to, he also planned to commit suicide during one of his shows. Oh, that's nice. Well, it didn't happen because he ended up in jail, but he did oh, die wow. of a heroin. He ended up dying of a heroin overdose. <laughs> you know, that's something we need to look up. How many, like, members of bands have actually overdosed? Because, again, uh... I, I feel like I feel like metal metal would be the high... Or see, like, what kind of genre they were in. Yeah, well, okay, I can name a couple. Uh, Wayne Stanley... Um, Paul Gray, uh, I mean, no one really knows for sure, but it could be, it could Uh, be, uh, uh, Kurt Cobain. That one's debatable, though. Well, they're thinking, (laughs) this article is talking about how they're pretty sure grunge is probably... I'm not surprised. Yeah. I just named two grunge people are off the bat so yeah mike star and i think okay yeah. and i also Mario. you gotta we gotta think of this too with the whole controversial music like 
metal. People people categorize, categorize metal it's such a vast majority. Like, okay, yeah, you, you got, got screamo, rock. I, I heard people call rock bands metal. I'm like, wait, what? Like, uh, I think metal. I, I think rock is the umbrella term, and metal is like a very. That's specific. what I'm saying. People people misjudge that they they say like like Judas Priest. What would you guys consider Judas Priest? Well, right now I consider them classic rock, but. I consider them metal. And, and see, it's, for some people, that's debatable. Some people consider them rock. I would consider them... Yeah, I consider them metal more than just, like, a plain old rock band. They were a little grungier than... Well, it it, it just... It's the time. It, like, you know, they were in the uh, 70s. So, in the 70s, it was... See, I would consider... Different. I would consider Judas Priest like metal, and then I'd consider someone like Motley Crue just a rock band. Motley Crue was a little bit more fun with it, and they weren't quite so heavy. But that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like some people, some people would say that's different as well. I've heard people call Motley Crue metal. And see, and as a huge Motley Crue fan, I don't. I heard have... people call Kiss metal. Oh, oh no, they're definitely just, to me, Kiss is just a good old rock band. Like, I, I agree, but you see what I'm saying? Like, just, some people call, like, metal music just, like, the entire, like, if you're playing the drums hardcore, then you're metal. metal. But I see, and I, th I think metal has more to do with your bass and your guitar. So that's kind of how heavy your guitar and your bass hit, I think, is what I consider I don't know. Like, Linkin Park is, like, to me, is, like, alternative heavy metal. Like, they're... The, the newer stuff that they had come out with was a little bit just alternative, but their older stuff's, like, alternative heavy. Because they dropped... the I don't know. It just... It sounds heavy to me, and I, I can't explain what that means. Well, what would you consider Alice in Chains? Grunge. Yeah, they're grunge. They're they're they are the grunge band. Well, I, what I, I literally <laughs> just looked up the best alternative bands, and they're underneath that in the top. Well, 10. I'd say I I was gonna I was gonna say grunge alternative because I feel like grunge is an alternative style of rock. So it, it really is. It, I don't but know. See, see, but I, you see what I'm saying. You see how yeah. like mixed up everyone could get? Yeah. Because there's so many different styles of of metal rock, I guess you could call it at this point. There's just there's just so many styles of rock that it's hard to Do they even have um See I have like umbrellas for everything and what falls under those umbrellas. They they do have Lincoln Park. I can see Lincoln Park being an alternative. Oh, I absolutely think Linkin Park's an alternative band. They were, they had unique style, a unique style, and I think Green Day's an alternative band. I think their sound Ooh. is very unique. Yeah, Green Controversial Day's band. band. Just thought but, of another one. But they're also very punk. They're like punk alternative. So like, Rage Against the Machine. Mm. Is that alternative? That's like an alternative metal because it's rap and metal infused. Yeah, so. I, I'd say it, it, that, fell, yeah. it fell underneath that. That's why I asked you. It was yeah, like number. Right. They have that as number nineteen. I right. would almost even consider them. I know new metal doesn't mean what it used to, but I'd almost consider them new metal. Oh yeah, that's uh, kind of what I consider them too. But but that's what I'm saying. People people misjudge what type of music they're even listening to. Fuck, they could listen to folk music and think it's country. Correct, and and a full like, music's completely different. Yeah, let's let's just skip the the metal for a second. Like, how how many other genres can you get mixed up with? You got folk and country. You got metal and rock, and well, uh, metal is a whole ass fucking. You can go ages for that one. Rap and hip hop. Rap and hip hop. That one's easily miss fucking. Yeah, that is because even I have issues sometimes being like, is this more of a hip hop? And even you could almost put R and B into that because some R and B. You can even do jazz and you can almost do jazz and R and B. Yeah, jazz and R and B would be. It, they, I feel like they get mixed up. 
So it's like, I don't know. People just... They just don't know their music, I guess. Like, I'm gonna be honest, though, with metal, it is hard for me to sit there and determine what is what is considered heavy, what is considered, like, soft, even with See, rock. Like, I, don't, I don't like I, a lot of those, like, I, heavy... I mean, if you call it heavy metal, like, isn't metal already heavy to begin with? So, like... But see, that's really what I'm heavy? saying. Like, Disturbed's considered True. heavy metal. And I don't consider that heavy metal. Oh, see, I do... I, okay, I don't consider Disturbed as a whole heavy metal, but I consider some of their stuff heavy metal. If, if you want to... If I, if I would determine any band as heavy, it would be anything that's, like, Screamo or... Uh, that's fair. See, or I'm, like Land God or this. something. That, I'm with Ethan on this. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like once you I get think, to like the hardcore lyrics like I mean, that, and so you can't you guys, understand what they're saying. You guys are kind of like on on a scale of like soft to extreme. The more extreme stuff. Yeah. Okay. Like it's, Metallica. It's, Metallica to me is almost just rock. Yeah, I agree. I don't think they're actually like all that metal. Like we'll say they don't. Or. They don't have a lot of like, I don't know death in their song so like for me i just can't consider them an actual hard See, heavy and metal i consider yeah, them hard rock. I, consider, I would actually just consider rock. them plain metal i mean yeah see I, i'm the least, same way with Ethan. Just, metal. just metal just metal at least it's old see, stuff they're to, definitely metal see to me when i consider someone heavy a band or a singer heavy metal it's because there's, I don't know, there's something in my brain that I can feel the heavy, I guess, and that's how I interpret who's heavy and who's not. Like, I have, like, it's like a feeling. And I can't explain it because I, I, I guess I've never had to, so. What's but, like, I can, I can feel, like, a heaviness, I guess, when I listen to it. Like, cut yourself heavy or, like, that's no, what I'm just, saying. Like, what kind of feeling like, do you get? like okay you put on some of lincoln park's older stuff and i'm just like i don't know i feel like there's weight on me i guess if you put on some of their older stuff it's suicidal to me like i feel like damn which i uh, which okay that's fair but like i don't know who else have we talked about that i considered heavy metal Mm. um i don't know just name a heavy (laughs) metal band and then we'll just go from there um that you think is heavy metal or look one up uh yeah let me look some up and see if i can explain but i know what you mean like there's a feeling um, it's it's all different corn okay corn oh my god i didn't think of of corn just like when i listen to them i can feel like the grit i guess and I'm like, oh, this, okay, like, it gets me pumped, but it also, like, weighs me down a little bit, but I guess in a good way. I don't know, it, it calms me, it's kind of like, okay, it's kind of like a weighted blanket to me, I guess, like, it's heavy on me, but it calms me down. Oh, 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 all right, all right, Slipknot. Mm. See, now that's Iowa a- album. Iowa album. Ooh. I consider that heavy metal. Yeah. That sounds yeah, literally just getting ready to say which their variety of music to me, like one minute I feel yes. like I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. In a good way. Like in a good way. Like I'm pumped up, ready yeah, yeah, to fucking know, do some shit, you know? Cause, okay, can yes. I go go oh. ahead, sorry. I, I I played football back in my my days, you know? So like listening to Slipknot, bro, I'm ready to go out oh, there yeah. and fucking hit oh, somebody, yeah. man. But then there's some songs that's like, wow. This I, feel like committing, down. I feel like committing suicide right now. Yeah. But um, that's that's the fucking, that's the greatest artist. Like, when you, when you can have an album or or just, I want to say multiple albums or songs. It's like one minute it's fucking hitting hard. The next minute it's just, you feel calm. Those, those, right. are, those are great artists to me. Disturbed, Slipknot, wow. Metallica. I mean. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Well, and Pete Corey Pete Taylor knows. can rap too. Oh my God, Corey Taylor's like a jack of all trades. I mean, just, like... just look at look at uh, spit it out. I mean, he's just fucking. <laughs> and he sings Christmas music. <laughs> I does. mean, come on. 
But I will say, since I'm a down, never actually, I never actually like got pumped up enough for mm-hmm. a game of football with them. Like I would try to listen yeah, to some of their songs. Like, that. like they might have been my the album I go to, but to get pumped up, I just I could not get pumped up with them. But could I party to them? All fucking oh, day yeah. long. Oh, <laughs> All fucking day yeah, long. Party to them. No. <laughs> but like, like I said, like it, it's just, and you can consider those. You can consider all this inf- influence. Like it influences me to party. Influences me to like, yeah. yeah. Like disturbed. Um, what's a good song? Oh, nice. I have a, I have a good band we can talk about. Go on, go on. Hollywood Undead. Okay, what? I, I. Oh, I that's God. that's actually one of the one of the uh, <laughs> bands that like I could get into, but then not get into at the same time. Agree. Well, they were I can, they. I can't. They were a very stylized group, and like I, and like I, I don't know how to describe it. They're not. I don't consider them heavy metal. They were they were rock rock rap, absolutely. Yeah, but, I couldn't consider them metal at all. Not a chance. No, no, not a fucking chance. But they were so stylized that I understood why people. They were controversial. Get into them. It's, it's just... They were. They they talked a lot about women and like in a not in a great way. I won't say in a terrible way, but not in a good <laughs> way. What was that they, song where he says he's gonna jump off the fucking roof? Oh, that's I'm trying to think of what it's called and I can't. But it's like that real cheery song and you're like, wait a minute. Bullet. It's called Bullet. Bullet, bullet, yep. But then like they have coming in hot where they talk about alcohol the whole time, which is a funny song. Jack like, in a cup or whatever it says, I think. Yeah, yeah, like, so the, like, you could say that they've probably influenced a lot of, of bad behavior. But, like, I mean, so back to, back to, um, like, influential songs, like, what's the, Disturbed. The animal man. I listened to that before football. I feel like I was going out there to smash some people's heads. In. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But um, what else? What other controversial music do we have? Got any more controversial music? Hunter, shut your shit off! (laughs) Hunter, shut your (laughs) shit. Oh shit, I just full screen that. Oh, um, another band Megan reminded me of. There is a band that when they would perform live, they would throw a condom out on stage. Whoever caught it got to go back and have sex with the band after. Oh my god, that is hilarious. So, what, was it a, a guy band? No, I think it was a female. They, they did sexual acts on stage, too. That is fucking weird. Why is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was it Hailstorm? That sounds, <laughs> that sounds awfully familiar. If, if you say their name, I'll be like, yeah, that's it. Like, I just was can't it, remember. Anything. Okay, was it Tattoo? No. Okay, because I heard stuff that the band... They're, they're not really a band, it's just like a duo, female thing. And for some reason, I heard that they did that. That's weird. I mean, who knows? They might have. Rock Bitch. It's called Rock Bitch. Stop. Uh, oh, Pussy Riot would be a good one to talk about. Oh my god. We could literally talk about these for Pussy Riot. We could, we could stay in the metal genre for like the whole entire we, time. Okay, well, <laughs> Good. All right, let's touch base a little bit on some of the history of music before we we can oh, literally God. make this a two part podcast, e- like easy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Prehistoric, once most commonly known as primitive music, started in Europe, fifteen hundred BC. I don't know if that's right. I mean, I guess it could I mean, be. I don't know. Uh, like, would anyone really know when music was actually created? Let's be real no. here. 
I mean, it's probably been around for since the beginning. It's obviously been around since the beginning of time. So. Yeah, yeah, it says prehistoric. I mean, it's literally prehistoric music, most commonly known as primitive music. So it's like, I, I don't know. It's just weird to me. So folk, indigenous, and traditional is one of the oldest. What do you think? What do you think, um... Fucking, uh... Oh my god, Hunter, turn your shit down. <laughs> what do you think, like, religious music would be, like, one of the oldest? Probably. Uh, prob probably the oldest recorded, because I know that singing was a way to, I guess, bring yourself closer to your god. Or oh, right or here, god. yeah, look. Uh, I said look, like you're reading it. Uh, in some instances, this feature related to shamanistic beliefs. So there so was there definitely... You go, yep. And it was made from human, like human voices, I think, from what I'm reading, if I'm reading this correctly. Some suggest that the origin of music likely stems from naturally occurring sounds and rhythms. Human music may echo these phenomena using patterns, repetition, and tonality. Some, some cultures... Okay, yeah, yeah, like, um, I see what this is saying. Like, uh, Africa, when they go... When they do the like clicking, the little clicking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They use that in music a lot. They use their yeah. their mouth. So yeah, I could okay, I, that makes sense now. That makes sense. So fuck, Al Caveman could have made fucking music. That's actually uh, damn. You could never really put a date on how old music really is then. Yeah. Like, and it's going to depend on who you ask, too, because, you know, there's what everyone's religious beliefs are and all that stuff, so. We should look up, we should look up, like, certain, certain instruments, see how old some of the instruments was made. Alex, get on that. Get on, um, I don't know. What's your favorite instrument, would you say? Drums? My favorite instrument? Ethan, sorry. Oh, oh. Um... It's it's actually surprising. It's not the guitar. It's the piano. That's my favorite. My favorite's the ukulele. That's a good one. I think the Look ukulele. Look up ukulele. Piano, like we it. all know, is going to be fucking back in the European ages. Well, the ukulele definitely has to be Hawaiian or Polynesian. Oh, holy shit. All right, give us, give us, uh, like, a guess, like, Name three places, or, or however, what would you say, Polynesian? Po yeah, Polynesian, so like, uh, Philippines, Hawaiian, like... Alright, uh, give us three, give us three regions we think it Hold was on, let me, let me, let me think of I, three. I'm gonna guess, okay. I'm gonna okay. guess. I'm gonna say, here are your choices. Hold on, let me... You're looking Wait, up. what are we doing? I'm, I'm looking to be We're sure We're gonna see where can... the ukulele came from. She's gonna give us three choices. I'm not looking it up either. I'm looking at ancient music now. Ancient. This is ancient. Okay. So here are your regions. You have Europe, Asia, and the Polynesian Islands. Hmm. The ukulele. I'm going to say Europe. If I'm going to say, that's a fine answer. Do you have one, Ethan? Do you have a... I guess. Where the ukulele came from. What are our options? <laughs> Europe, the Polynesian Islands, or Asia? I said Europe. Polynesian. Nope, it's from Europe. Yeah! It says the only reason that it was even in the Polynesian Islands is that this uh, Portuguese sailor jumped off of his boat with it onto one of the islands. And that's where it, that's why it's so popular there is because it was like, whoa. So it didn't get ruined by the water? I guess, uh, I guess old instruments. They were. Probably made better. 
<laughs> yeah, they definitely were. Probably made from like some kind of like animal skin. Like um, a guitar used to be from horse hair. I don't know. I don't know. It could still be from horse hair, but some of the oldest guitars was from horse hair because it's really strong. Like a horse tail? The horse tail? That's what I should say. Horse tail. Not hair. <laughs> I've seen people make um make instruments out of bones as well. Yeah, a lot of tribal musics with bones. But I think one of the the first ways the guitar was made was I, is it still made out of I don't know if it's still made out of horse hair or not. No, but, it's, oh. it's, I, I don't know. Uh... Hi, Gigi. We're almost done here. We're talking about where some of the instruments came from. Where did you uh, get nylon. nylon? Nylon. Okay. Was That's it... what they're made with. Do you know what, if it was made from horse hair? Because I've heard that, but then I never really actually looked it up. I never actually researched it. What up? Hunter's your shit off now. What? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I can't have that in the background with YouTube and shit. Yeah. All good, all good. So ancient music. Holy shit, there's yeah. dates clear the, back to 226 AD. The, uh, the Nordic Vikings used horse hair for There you guitars. go, Alex. Go make a guitar. But in the Far East, they were evolved from silk. Silk. Huh. And huh. in tropical regions, it was uh, plant fiber. I was just say fiber, probably. I was going to yeah. guess fiber. And then uh, in the West, it was actually animal intestines. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> animal intestines? Up. First. Yeah, animal intestines. Yeah. It's How was that? that was what it was in the West. The... <laughs> Guitar strings? Yeah. How? What? How? I I guess it's strong enough. Hmm. But like, I'm I'm thinking of like the I'm thinking of like the thickness, like. Uh, yeah. Possibly. Well, I don't know. I feel like your intestines, even in animal ones, are pretty thick as far as. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Thick. So, what, are you gonna have a fucking two string guitar? Well. Maybe they cut it up. They would have had to, but then like I don't know. That's just that's weird to me, bro. That's... Imagine playing that. You gotta wash your hands after every every time you use that shit. Mm-hmm. Well, don't... you act you act like back then they had good proper hygiene like we do, but it's... I'm gonna tell you right now, me digging into some animal to make a guitar. Even yeah, back then, I'm gonna be washing my fucking hands, bro. <laughs> Like, you act like if I wasn't living back then, I'm telling you, I, I hate my hands getting dirty. <clears throat> Here's a good one to look up. I'm going to look it up for you guys, since you guys are looking everything up for me. <laughs> wow. Oh god, all that shit. That's bad. A guitar pick. Uh, fuck. When do you guys think that was invented? Huh. Okay. Let's think here. A guitar when? pick. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say sometime. I don't know. You can you can be brief. You can be like 1880s, 1970s. You know, I'll give you like the 10, 10 range. I'm going to say something, I don't know, something off the wall, because I'm either going to be completely right or completely wrong. I'm going to say the 1940s. I feel like I feel like this is going to be a trick question to where it's actually not that old. Um, I'm 1890s. Uh, 1890s is a good one. 1870s. 1922. The modern wow. guitar pick traces its roots to De Andra Company, which induced, introduced picks made from celluloid and early thermoplastic in early 
22. Huh. So all, so now we look up when the guitar was even made. Which I could make rage for. Well, you gotta go to the old, like, because before it was called a guitar, it was called a lute. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm sure it was called one before, so. Uh, 16th century. Holy fuck. Seriously? <laughs> that's like... Dude! Bad. Yo, you wanna look... I know, I know Ethan likes looking at some guitars. You can look at them, bro. There's some <laughs> whack-ass looking guitars. Electric guitar oh, yeah. was made in 1931. Probably for jazz music, I would imagine. So just imagine, 16th century, right? And you're playing a guitar with no, like, bro, that gotta be hard on your fingers. It's gotta be. Yeah. Hey, there's some loot. <laughs> some of them pretty... Pretty nice guitars. They look very like the uh, ones from the 16th century. Look very Spanish. Very. Cool. Now we gotta figure out what region they were from. Cause that's my favorite it's guitar. I mine's actually bass guitar, but. Oh, bass guitar. Like I like bass guitar. Well, if the, this 16th century guitar is from the Renaissance, that means the. Uh, uh, it was definitely made in Italy. <laughs> well, or, I mean, it wasn't Italy at the time. It was just random regions. But Medieval music. I wonder what that would sound like. Watch, they were all like prehistoric metalheads and they were playing. Oh my god, could you just <laughs> imagine? <laughs> oh my god. All right, yeah, I want you to clap your hands for this one, yeah? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> what's I wanna teach freaking, you the headbang! What's that freaking video I share where they're like, straight from the cranium? Yeah. <laughs> straight from the cranium, yeah? Straight from the cranium, my lord! <laughs> we didn't, We literally did not talk about any other controversial music. Genre. I, I think we're gonna have to make this a part two because part yeah. Now. Well, well, um, it's funny because I I just played Dungeons and Dragons the other day and I made a character who played who plays metal music. That's hilarious! Oh my god! Like we're gonna have to figure out how to um, or not figure out. We're gonna have to um, make it a fucking a rap one as well because well, i was gonna say i already have ideas for that so i can already name off a few like right right I, now me too me too <laughs> yeah yeah but we have to end it here and i'm thinking of eventually trying to do like set up a zoom call or something so that way the viewers oh, can see be, everybody that would be fun um uh, just look fun. up um for you guys that usually join my podcast look up hutch on youtube he does um political podcasts and shit. Oh, interesting. I kind of want to set up something like that. So, if you if you guys have a camera or whatever, if you I'm don't cool with, If I'm you cool don't, we can just do an icon or whatever. Your your twin your Discord icon if anything. Yeah, I don't got a camera. <laughs> but um Let me know and guys in the comments, let me know if you guys want to see Ethan's beautiful face or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not almost I'm not fifty years old, Dad, that's why. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. We have to end it here. It is getting a little late for some people that have jobs yet, because I don't have jobs. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. We probably will be talking about a part two of music and its influence and controversial music as well again next week. Or we'll, we'll switch it up, maybe do a different topic. We'll figure it out. But um, if you guys like this, hit the like button. And I will see you guys next fucking Monday.